So let's have a look at how to set up a Garmin Live Track. In the video, we're gonna check out the differences between manual and auto start, different ways of sharing your activity, as well as integration with Strava Beacon. To start, open up your Garmin Connect app, go to More, and press Live Track. In the settings page, make sure your device is connected. Below that, you will see the session name. By default, it will always say live activity and the current date. So I usually just leave it as it is. You have three different ways of sharing your activity, email, Facebook, and Twitter. You need to enable at least one of these to get started. So select email and by pushing the recipient button, you can add or remove email addresses that will get notified once you start your activity. Once that's done, you're ready to press start live track. After doing that, wait for confirmation on your device. For example, this is how it looks like on my Phoenix 5. You just go ahead and select an activity and start it. Note it's an eye icon on the watch indicating that Garmin live track is enabled. Garmin will send a link to your chosen email address. Once that's open, you will get to a custom web page showing you a map with the tracked route and the current location, as well as metrics such as pace, time, distance, and elevation gain. To change the units, language, or map provider, just push the circle in the top right corner. When live track is active, you will see this screen on the phone. If you want the link to be active after the activity is ended, push extend live track. Once you're done with the activity, push stop live track and you can then select to share the link via a text message, email or social media. You can simplify this process by selecting auto start in the settings menu. Once enabled, live track will start every time you start an activity on your watch and the watch is connected to the phone. Selecting extend live track means that the link will be active for 24 hours after each activity. Finally, let's look at how to integrate Garmin Live Track with Strava Beacon. Strava Beacon requires Strava Premium and lets you share your location with up to three contacts. One difference with Garmin Live Track is that Strava lets you send the tracking link via text messages. To set it up in the settings screen, click Manage next to Strava Beacon. The Strava app will open, push Enable Beacon and Enable Beacon for Garmin. Make sure you have enabled auto start in the Garmin menu and hit I already have. Then go ahead and add your safety contacts by selecting a number from your contacts. You can also edit the message that is sent to your contacts. Once done, you will see Strava beacon enabled. Once you start activity, the text message will be sent. Strava's tracking page looks slightly different from Garmin's with somewhat less data, but still gives you basic information such as distance and time active. So there you go, that's a basic introduction to Garmin Light Track and how to integrate that with Strava Beacon.